Royal Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports. Luke, many congratulations, victory on your debut here, but not overly happy with your performance just listening to you there, still things you can improve on? No, not, not happy at all, I, don't, I, I think I was very poor there, especially the first set, I think I was, um, I'm not sure if my, my doubling in and my scoring, but I just know something went right there, I, I didn't, play really, didn't play very good, my hands are really cold, the arena's really cold. I didn't really expect it to be so cold. My hands were, were, were really struggling to, to let go of my darts in the way I want them. Um, but you know, when you make these experiences, you can only learn from them. So obviously, the next game, I'll learn from that, make change things, and make sure they're they're right for the next game. But you know, I'm not happy with the way I played. But you kind of moan if you win. That's all that matters at the end of the day. First time you played double in, double out. What was the preparation like in the build-up for this? Was it specific? Practice to mimic this tournament? Yeah, actually, I did lots of in detail stuff. You know, I watched plenty of my games back on YouTube and stuff to make sure that, you know, because I've always thought I was a really good um, double top hitter on the stage. I'm not so great on the floor, but I thought I was really. And then a stat came out and I wasn't very good on the top, so I'm thinking, oh, okay. And, and the doubles, double 18 was really good, and I thought that was the worst double. So I looked back at a lot of videos and thought, what am I good at taking finishes out? And last dark doubles were good on double top, so I thought, no, that's the double. It's a good transition to the tw triple 20. But I really worked hard at, you know, this game is all about perfection, little millimetres, and I, make, I made sure I picked the right double for me to start on. I know I didn't play well there, but I still think it was the right double to start on. This tournament has been a springboard for many players over the years. Do you feel this could be the same for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, any major you play is a springboard. Yeah, you, if you go and win it, it's a springboard for anybody's career. Um, you know, the UK was a was a great springboard for my career. If I'd have won it, you know, it'd have been even bigger. But you know, w once I made that final, my name was in everybody's mouths a lot, um, and that's all I care about. I want I want to be up there and you know in everybody's mouth for the the big time. And you know, I feel like I've got the game, but I'm going to have to improve a lot on the performances like that. But you know, as long as you play, as long as you win, that's all that matters, and that's all I care about. When you beat Gary Anderson in the Premier League, the first contender to do so, you said similar things that this was your moment. But obviously, COVID hit, and it didn't quite go as well for you. Do you feel you're now back up to where you were pre-COVID? Yeah, yes and no. I feel like you know, I, I've obviously achieved a lot, a lot of what I wanted after that Premier League. But you know, making major finals and, and pro tour finals, but. I think there's a lot more to come. I think like I, I can't sit here and say oh, it's going to come now. It's going to come in next year, five years. I just know it's going to come. I feel like you know there's a lot to give in this game for myself. I'm only young, um, but yeah, you know if you're going to win games ugly, you know do it in the right times when your opponent's not playing great and play well in the next game. Hopefully when I need to. Thank you very much. Cheers. Luke, now you've had that first experience of the double start format, do you feel you'll be able to settle quicker in the next round? Um, maybe. I didn't I didn't really like it actually. I, I, I struggled, you know. In practice my double tops were, were fantastic and you know, I was hitting lots of one sixties, one twenties. I don't really think I hit many one sixties, one if any. So, you know, obviously I was really cold, my hands were really cold at that. I don't know if anybody noticed on the stage and that, but they were really cold and I don't, it's nothing to do with anything. It's just maybe the arena was a bit cold, but, you know, the, all you can do is learn from experiences and obviously I've experienced what I have there. Next game I'm, I know what it's going to feel like, so I'm going to have to, you know, maybe bring a hand warmer in or something to improve that. But I know that, you know, my double tops usually, I feel, is pretty good, so I've got a tough game next, next game, whoever it is. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put in the, the proper preparations to, for what I need. It's proven to be a real breakthrough year for you. We've seen a lot of different and a new title winners over the last 18 months. Do you feel like you could be on the cusp of something? Definitely. I think that I can be a title winner, but you know, I don't have to play better than that. Um, but then, you know, if you look at how Dirk did what he did last year, he didn't play very good in his first game. He probably worse than how I played and then went on to make the final. was probably unlucky not to win. You know, he's playing the, the, the number one player in the world at the time, maybe not in the ranking, but going prize. So, you know, who knows? I mean, there is a there is a there is a major title with me. I don't know if it's going to be this year, next year, or in five years' time, but I know it's coming, and it'll come at the right time for me. Cheers, Luke. Thank you. Thank you. Um, with it being your debut here uh, this week, Luke, how, how much double double star have you played over the years? Uh, do you know what? I actually played in a in a in a league on a Thursday. And in the winter it was normal start, and in the summer it was double start. Um, 
So that was the only preparation I'd ever played double in. Maybe an odd comp here and odd competition here and there, but I've never really played it. So you know, I made sure that I practiced on it um, straight after I uh, come back from Gibraltar in the Euro Tour. Um, and practice has gone well, you know, I can't complain, it just wasn't a great performance, you know, sometimes that happens, a lot of people sort of say, you know, I'm up there and I play my best darts, sometimes I won't play my best darts, but as long as I win the game, that's all that matters, and, you know, I hadn't really, it's hard to prepare for it, because when you when you start in, on a double, it's really pressurised, but, you know, I, I think I coped with it as good as I could. And plenty of emotion at the end, you can see how much it meant to you, how much did it, did it mean on, on your debut to win it? Yeah, it meant a lot, you know, I think, I'm not really one of them people that gets involved with, you know, celebrating and stuff, but if people celebrate against me, try and show their emotions and then I get the better of them, I'll make sure they know about it. So, you know, I think Dirk was celebrating a lot at the end there, trying to intimidate me to, to, you know, to make me think I'm behind you, you can miss. That's why when I won the game, I thought I'll celebrate as hard as I possibly can to let him know that he's lost. So, you know, game's all about, it's the dominoes effect, isn't it, you know, it's, you know, I'm, you know, you celebrate and stuff. I don't tend to celebrate that much. I think people have realised that. But if someone celebrates against me, I'll celebrate back and I'll make sure they know about it. No worries. Thank you. Royal Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports.